What's going on everybody and welcome to the next episode of the Crack of Pack series. Today we are kicking off the week with a Prophecy Booster Pack. Uh, one that I think we've only ever opened up one other time. If I'm not mistaken, I might be. Uh, I do think we already pulled the most valuable card out of this, which was Ristic Study. It is at Common, so I guess that's not that surprising, but it's sitting at $18 right now. Uh, and then dropping down to less than $5, we have Overburden and Keldon Firebombers, uh, both rares. So. A lot of interesting stuff in this set. Weirdly, the commons seem to be like the place to be. Sporefrog is also sitting at $2. Uh, and then from there, it just comes into like dollar rares, 50 cent rares, nothing all that exciting. So hopefully we pull something interesting. Uh, as always, we're going to do the best we can uh, to determine what our pack one pick one will be. I cannot say I will be fantastic at picking that. Uh, I've never drafted Prophecy, obviously, uh, but on top of that, I'm not the best drafter. So we'll do the best we can uh, if we can get it open. There we go. Uh, I do, I always forget they do this. There we go. Okay, so the rare should be at the back now. Uh, so we'll go through this. Obviously, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. That's perfectly fine. So. Our first common here, Fault Riders, is a 2-2 for 2 and a red. You can sacrifice a land and it gets plus 2, plus 0, oh, and gains first strike until end of turn. Play this ability only once each turn. I actually kind of like this card. Um, this is back in a time where creatures, I feel like, were still not necessarily the best. Uh, and this seems like a really great aggressive 3-drop. Uh, for a very low curve red deck, I think it's really cool that you can sacrifice a land because sometimes you're just going to get flooded and this gives you some use for those. So I do like this card so far. Uh, that's probably a good start. Uh, Steel Strength is an instant for one in a black. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Another target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Uh, I think this is a good combat trick. I think it's pretty solid, actually. Uh, if there's anything that has one toughness, obviously you can pick it off. Uh, on top of that, it buffs one of your creatures, so maybe you can swing an attack in your favor, uh, potentially get a two-for-one with this, which I think is great. Uh, that being said, I don't think it's better than the Fault Riders. Uh, Ristic Deluge, an enchantment for two and a blue. Uh, you can pay a blue and tap target creature unless its controller pays one of any color don't like this card i think this is pretty bad uh specifically in draft i think there might be some places for this but it's generally not the best i like that it's repeated use you can do that as many times as you'd like uh, but it just doesn't do enough and it also gives your opponent a way out which i don't think is too good uh that being said i could be very wrong this might be one of those cards that's like technically really good and i just don't know it so uh thrive a sorcery for x and a green put a plus one plus one counter on each of x target creatures I don't really like this. I think it's probably okay if you're in like a go-wide strategy. It's not bad, but like in general, I don't think that's too good. Uh, Troubled Healer is a creature. Uh, one, two for two and a white. Sacrifice a lamb, prevent the next two damage that would be dealt to target creature or player this turn. Very similar to the Fault Riders uh, in that you're sacrificing a land, though this prevents the damage, obviously. Uh, I think this is like not that great. I'd much rather have the Fault Riders and be more aggressive. Uh, there's probably a white deck that would run this, and I think it's fine, but in general, not a fan. Spore Frog, so uh, one of the weirdly more expensive cards in the set. Uh, Spore Frog is a 1-1 one, one for 1 green. Sacrifice it and prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Not a good card in draft. Uh, the reason it actually holds some value is that you can combo with it with uh, Commander a lot. It's a cool card, but definitely not one I'd want to pick. Uh, Soul Charmer is a 2-2 for 2 and a white. When it deals combat damage to a creature, you make you gain 2 life unless that creature's controller pays 2. Uh, this is sort of like really bad lifelink uh, on a 2-2 two, two for 3. I don't like that. I think that's pretty bad. Uh, Agent of Shaku. I might be mispronouncing that. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 and a black. You can pay one in a black and sacrifice a land. Target creature gets plus two, plus oh until end of turn. Uh, I think this is just okay. I think it's fine. Um, I like that you can give it to any creature. I think that's cool. Uh, but in a black deck, I feel like the mana is more important uh, in a lot of cases. That's part of why I like the Fault Rider so much is that it's in a red deck. So ideally, it's going to be much more aggressive, much more low to the ground. Uh, Hazy Homunculus is a 1-1 one, one for 1 and a blue. It's unblockable as long as the defending player controls an untapped land. Uh, not that great. I think this is pretty bad. Uh, it's cool that it's unblockable, but it's a 1-1, one, one, so it's not going to be doing too much. Uh, 
Ma- Majetta's Boon might be mispronouncing that as always uh, an enchanted creature for one and a white uh, you can play it anytime you can play an instant and the enchanted creature gets plus one plus two I actually like this more than most enchanted creatures I I always say that enchanted creatures are not that good generally I agree with that but I actually like this it can be a combat trick that's why I like this uh, it's a combat trick that also sticks around which makes it a much better combat trick so I actually like this card still not better than the fault riders but still pretty decent uh, in flame, an instant for one red. Uh, it deals two damage to each creature that dealt damage this turn. Wow, that seems pretty good, actually. Uh, I think that's better than the Fall Riders, but I might be wrong. Uh, this seems great. It seems like you could like really get out of a losing position. <sighs> that being said, I feel like Fault Riders is probably the better pick. I like this card, though. I think that's pretty good. Uh, Flame Shot is a sorcery for three and a red. You may discard a mountain card from your hand instead of paying the mana cost. Deals three damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures. This probably is better than the Fault Riders. This is great. Uh, the fact that you can pay it for an alternate cost is awesome. The fact that you can divide that damage up is also awesome. Uh, so I really, really like that for sure. Uh, Embringer's Revel is an enchantment for two and a black. You can pay for and return target creature card from a graveyard to its owner's hand. Uh, any player may play this ability, but only any time he or she could play a sorcery. I don't like this. It's an enchantment. It's a slow enchantment at that. Uh, on top of that, all of that, uh, your opponent can play it, so that seems pretty bad. <laughs> uh, Ventera Snapper, a 2-2 for two green. It can't be the target of spells or abilities as long as you control no untapped lands. Uh, this seems pretty good actually in just a green deck. I don't think it's amazing, but it's pretty good. It's pseudo hexproof, uh, or I guess technically shroud. Uh, so I do kind of like that. I don't think I like it more than the uh, flame shot though. Uh, Search for survivors is a sorcery for two and a red. This is our rare. Uh, shuffle your graveyard. An opponent chooses a card from it at random. If that card is a creature card. Put it into play. Otherwise, remove it from the game. This is so much of a gamble. I do not think this is a worthwhile card uh, in limited specifically. I think this is pretty bad. So uh, my pick would probably be the flame shot. I might be wrong on that. Please let me know if you think I am. Perfectly happy to talk about that. But I do really like opening prophecy. It's really fun. I love seeing the old card frame. I actually really dig it. So hopefully you guys too. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. As always, please make sure to subscribe as well to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. A quick reminder, we will have a crack a pack tomorrow, uh, not Wednesday. We're going to do Monday, Tuesday, and then Friday. Yes, Friday. Didn't want to mess that schedule up in my own head. Uh, so it's going to be a different schedule from here on out. Hopefully you guys will stick with it and enjoy it. But I'm going to get out of here for now. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.